Alhamdulillah, indeed all praise is due to Allah. We praise him and seek his help and forgiveness. We seek refuge in Allah from our soul's evils and our wrongdoings. He whom Allah guides, no one can misguide, and he whom he misguides, no one can guide. I bear witness that there is no God except Allah, alone without any partners, and I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and messenger. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear Embrace family, I'm Sister Vinna McDermott, lead for the Connecticut chapter of Embrace, here to welcome you to our Juma reminder. This week, I would really like to take a few minutes on the topic of knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through contemplating on his beautiful names and attributes, al-asma wa husna, inshallah. You know, the more we learn about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through his beautiful names and attributes, the more we can understand his supremeness. And this will help us grow in our closeness to Allah, our love for our creator. Remember that Allah is the best of planners, the provider of all, and to be content with what has been decreed. Alhamdulillah. As many of you know, I often find my closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by looking at the beauty of his creations in nature. You know, whether it's a beautiful landscape, an amazing creation, the oceans, the mountains, you know, whatever he's provided for our sustenance, right? All of this, alhamdulillah, was created by Allah al-Khaliq, the creator, the one who creates from nothing. SubhanAllah, al-Khaliq, the creator. That's the first name that I'd like you to contemplate on, dear brothers and sisters. If we look at the creation through knowing it was created by Allah, Al-Hakim, the perfectly wise, we can see with our own eyes his wisdom in his creation. Just look at the universe, for instance. Everything runs with precision. Everything in the cosmos follows his prescribed order. Allah, Al-Hakim, the perfectly wise, the second of the beautiful names and attributes that I'd like you to contemplate. So we have Allah, Al-Khaliq, the creator, Al-Hakim, the perfectly wise, with, and with this vast universe, we learn through Allah al-Bari, the maker of order, the harmony of all that is created. Everything is linked and ordered. Allah al-Bari, the maker of order, the third name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I would like you to contemplate, dear brothers and sisters. Let's look at the harmony that was created in our own nature. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us our intellect and he also gave us the freedom to choose right from wrong. Within this choice of right from wrong, if we make the choice to deny his existence, we actually end up causing our own destruction. May Allah protect us from this thought, I mean. If we deny that our creator exists, we're attempting to destroy that universal harmony. SubhanAllah, we know that nothing happens without Allah's will. However, we do know that our choices do affect our path. Our akira. Look at ourselves or the other creations, right down to the cells. Everything's in order. Everything has a perfect a purpose. Subhanallah, the smallest insect is created so intricately, so exquisitely, that no one other than the perfectly wise can create this. We also can see that Allah al Khabir, the all aware, is aware of everything seen and unseen by us. He knows what is in the deepest hidden areas of his creation. He knows of things that have not yet come to fruition, have not yet been actualized. Things that are still in a state of formation unseen by us, Allah is all aware. Allah al-Khabir, the all aware, subhanAllah. And look at the might in Allah's creations, brothers and sisters, the vast mountains, the forests, the depths of the ocean. This could only be created by Allah, the Almighty, Al-Jalil, the Lord of majesty and might. All existence, life, death, gain, loss, all are his will. Allah, Al-Jalil, the Lord of majesty and might another of the beautiful names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I would like you to contemplate, dear brothers and sisters. When we're out exploring within this vast creation, this beautiful creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, take it all in. Don't rush through the beauty, experience it. 
Don't just rush for a quick photo op and move on to the next experience. Ponder this, contemplate this. Think of the beautiful names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because what you're experiencing, what you're looking at has all been created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you are witnessing none other than what Allah al-Musawir, the shaper of beauty, has created with all of his artistry. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had no model to go off of, right, brothers and sisters? Yet he shaped everything in the most perfect shape, the most perfect beauty. Allah al-Musawir, the shaper of beauty, subhanAllah. When we think of our sustenance, what we need to survive both physically and spiritually, we know that Allah, our Razak, the sustainer, is our provider. He alone provides our food, our drink, our air, our clothing, our possessions, our family, subhanAllah. Allah, our Razak, the sustainer, provides our spiritual sustenance as well. Think about that. It is he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that provided all of the originally pure holy books in Revelation. We know that the final revelation, of course, is the Quran, and it's the most pure revelation still in existence here for everybody, for all of mankind. Alhamdulillah. Allah, our Razak, the sustainer, has provided for us the Quran. MashaAllah. To bring all of this together, dear brothers and sisters, this unified system of the universe and all that exists is the work of Allah Al-Ahad, the one, Allah Al-Ahad. These are just a few of the beautiful names and attributes, just a few. And even just contemplating on these few names, Allah Al-Khaliq, the creator, Al-Hakim, the perfectly wise, Al-Bari, the maker of order, Al-Khabir, the all-aware, Al-Jalil, the almighty Lord of majesty and might, Al-Musawir, the shaper of beauty, Ar-Razak, the sustainer, Allah Al-Ahad, the one, we will become closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and increase our knowledge and love of him and his magnificence. May Allah give us all the ability to learn of his beautiful names and attributes, contemplate on them, so that we can just become closer to Allah and please him. Ameen. Don't just memorize these names. Contemplate them, dear brothers and sisters, because they will bring you closer to our creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All the good and truth that I have said today is from Allah. If I have said anything untrue mistakenly, it is from me. I ask you to forgive me, dear brothers and sisters. How perfect you are, O Allah, and I praise you. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except you. I seek your forgiveness and turn to you in repentance. Dear brothers and sisters, have a blessed week. Take some time to contemplate on the beautiful names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Strive to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all that you do. Until next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.